in a world brimming with possibilities, where the future is now. We explore the globe, from the depths of the oceans to the frontiers of space, and learn from the synthetic minds shaping our tomorrow. Welcome to Techno Voice of Tomorrow, where innovation meets insight. Our topic is creating custom GPT today. Hello, dear science and technology enthusiasts. Today, I will briefly explain how to create a custom GPT, that is, a personal GPT module with ChatGPT4. You don't need to know any programming languages, though it can also be done with programming, but I'll demonstrate how everyday users can accomplish this in a simple manner. First of all, ChatGPT4 is a language-based artificial intelligence application developed by OpenAI, and it has evolved significantly. The important points to note here are as follows. First, when you select Try ChatGPT, you will initially encounter ChatGPT 3.5, which I will explain shortly. Then, after clicking on the login option, you'll see a window appear. The API is not relevant to us as these are products geared towards companies. We will click on the chat section. After clicking, it begins to work. Let's discuss ChatGPT 3.5, which offers unlimited and free usage. Then, there are two additional plans for personal users. The Plus plan, at $20 per month, provides access to ChatGPT 4, which is the focus of our discussion today. ChatGPT 4 allows for navigating or researching with advanced search capabilities. Subsequently, we will create a GPT model today using ChatGPT. Concurrently, you can access DALI, an artificial intelligence that generates images. Additionally, there is browsing, a search engine far more advanced than Google or other search engines. Also, there is advanced data analysis and many other features. Regarding the team feature, two people can apply and pay annually. Two users, in total, pay $50 per month, but since they pay in advance, it's $600 annually. In ChatGPT4, you can send 40 messages, or pubs, in 3 hours. In the team plan, you can send 50 messages in 3 hours. There isn't much difference, but these features are beneficial for creating workspaces, essentially a cloud-based work area. You can also manage the console. These are particularly useful applications for startups. However, if you are part of a company, these might not be as relevant. Still, you can use them, but frequent use of artificial intelligence in a professional capacity might necessitate the use of the API. I don't have expertise in that area right now, but you can check other videos for that information. Now, let's continue with ChatGPT 3.5. Here, there's the capability of sending unlimited messages, or pops. These pops in ChatGPT 4 require a different approach. For example, if we write, write a story, the output from ChatGPT 3.5 might not be very original as it's obviously written by artificial intelligence. With ChatGPT 4, however, the process is slower but more detailed. Let me explain, when we write, write a story, the AI writes as it pleases, so you need to guide it. The key to using ChatGPT 4 effectively is to write pops in a detailed and correct way. In essence, with ChatGPT 4, you are programming without knowing programming, using software without the need to code. It's quite remarkable. Nonetheless, our main topic is custom GPT, but a general overview is also essential. When you write Explore GPT, there is a section akin to a GPT store, like App Store or Play Store. All these are free here, of course, if you have a subscription to Chat GPT 4. There are various features available, and the most used ones this week include the most popular ChatGPT modules used by ChatGPT4 users, Canvas, Image Generator, and others produced by ChatGPT4. DALI, as mentioned earlier, is an AI that creates images. Then there's the advanced data analyzer that can analyze any kind of file effectively. However, it should be noted that it can technically examine audio files, but cannot yet convert them to transcripts. It can also conduct a technical review of videos, but cannot analyze the content. We will probably see this feature in ChatGPT 5. Then, DALI offers various variations created by users, similar modules, image wizards, and they are writing wizards here. If you want to produce any document or video, these tools are also free and can aid in productivity. Then, there's research and analysis. 
This function assists with your research and analysis, which is beneficial. You can use it for your academic work, but I do not recommend writing your thesis entirely from here. Conduct your research here, but create your thesis independently. As for programming, you can also learn coding from here in a simple and effective way. Additionally, there are modules for education, as well as lifestyle, holidays, getting tattoos, astrology, and more. Yes, now let's get to our main topic. Today, we will create a custom GPT. First, I want to show you a GPT I created myself. It's an article summarizer. When you upload any file here, if you have access to ChatGPT4, it processes them beautifully right away. You ask a specific question, and it responds. In this section, you say find this part, but there's a catch, it must be text. For processing a scanned PDF, OCR is needed, and OCR is not yet available for custom GPTs. Now, there are configurations here. As you see, there's a name, descriptions, then instructions. Here are the parters, and here is the knowledge, which are the sources it uses. Then, there are also skills. A web browser, that is, researching on the internet, then there's the option of using DALI for image generation. Then there's a code interpreter. This is very important because otherwise, you can't upload documents. Now, you might ask why the knowledge section is empty. It's because we've already written the sources here, from PubMed and ScienceDirect, and processed them appropriately in its database. Let's get to this part. Yes, now there's this situation. When you open it, as I'm showing again, you click on Explore GPTs. At the top right, there's Create. You can create here. I had already written this. I'm copying it now. Sent. Now, it will process this slowly, first creating a photo. Yes, now it continues, guys. It created a cover image. Not bad, right? We didn't give specific information, we basically told it to do whatever it wants. We are updating the GPT, and sometimes there can be problems, and it can give an error. You must be careful not to overload it with too much information at once. That's why I said I would upload the file later. Okay, very nice. It says it processed the things I wrote. Yes, it's created now. But I want to do other things too. Now we've come to the configuration. The name is already here. You can change the picture here. You can use DALI, and you can upload photos from your computer. Then the description is here, and there are instructions. You can edit these instructions from the Create section again. Don't think you can't change them after one time. You can customize your partners. For example, what should it be? For instance, it says Swedish here, I will change it to English, like this. Then Knowledge. Now, to upload to Knowledge, first, we need a code interpreter. I clicked on this. There's also Create New Action. These are things you use when you want to connect your GPT to an external internet site. I don't need to use this in this GPT. Let's save this now because sometimes the internet can go out, or the system can give an error. So, I'll confirm this, and it will load later, then we can edit it again. It takes a little while, of course. Yes, we're waiting, guys. Yes, it's created now, but I want to edit it a bit more. Then let's see if there's a code interpreter here. Okay. There's a code meter, a coding meter. Then I came here. One second, let's find them. Did we talk about them here? Yes, the downloaded files were here. Then we're downloading both for Swedish and for English according to the CEFR scale. There have been some errors lately. I don't know if it's from me or if there's a systemic error here. It's not showing up clearly, but it says something here, and if there's a coding meter, it can read your files. Now we write, can you analyze these files profoundly and use an assessment scale for articles and essays? Yes, we sent this. Sometimes it might not load, but it will probably load. Now, when we say knowledge here, you can upload internet sites, but there is no need for this module. But let's upload a new site, let's enter the IELTS website, for example. I'm giving this as an example, I won't upload it because there is no need. Can you upgrade instructions in your database without changing any other things? Then we paste it, and it will appear in the instructions, but we're not doing this now, let's continue. 
Creating a custom GPT. I'll start by showcasing a GPT I've developed, an article summarizer. When you upload any file here, if you have access to ChatGPT4, it processes them effectively and immediately. You pose a specific question, and it responds accordingly. Despite the knowledge section appearing empty, we have previously uploaded relevant sites, enabling comfortable usage now. After confirming this, we move on to additional settings. Here, we are asked if we can use the chat data from ChatGPT to enhance the module. Agreeing is crucial, as it prevents the module from becoming static. Without intervention, there won't be any improvement, so we confirm this choice. Now, let's try something interesting. We'll take Shakespeare's to be, or not to be, and ask the GPT to assess the poem according to the CEFR scale. Sometimes, if the text is straightforward, the GPT can handle it well, though it can be overly critical at times. Let's hope for a balanced evaluation. After processing, the GPT reached the poem at the C1-C2 level. Next, we'll examine the song by the Beatles, Let It Be. I believe its lyrics are simpler. As suspected, the GPT rates it at the B1-B2 level. This is understandable, as Beatles music is known for its clarity, making it a pleasant choice for English learners. Additionally, there are options to delete, share, or rename the module. Let me show you. In the edit section, you can share the module, revert it to a previous state, and control who has access to it. Setting it to only me teach the private, while anyone with a link allows access to those you share the link with. Selecting for everyone makes it visible in the Explore GPT section. However, for privacy, you can choose to hide certain elements. As we close this chapter of discovery, remember to subscribe and join the Techno Voice of Tomorrow for more insights into our incredible future. Stay inspired, stay curious, and let's keep shaping tomorrow together. Subscribe and be part of our journey into the next horizon.